Hello, hello, hello. OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. I'm coming at you with another weekly video. Today we are in my kitchen and we're going to be decluttering rearranging and organizing some kitchen cupboards and some drawers. If you are new and this is your first time seeing one of my videos, would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new down in the comment section. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thanks so much for coming back to another video. So these two kitchen cupboards are on the back side of my island and it has been, I think, a year, maybe even a little over a year since I went through these and decluttered them. And when I decluttered them, I never really, I, I, I don't want to say I don't have a clear use for them, but I, I kind of don't. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. I have use for them for some things, but not as much as I want to. So I just want to make them more functional. Honestly, this was one of the first things I decluttered when I started on my decluttering journey uh, just over a year ago. And there were just things that I wasn't ready to get rid of because I have such a huge amount of storage space in my kitchen, these were kitchen cupboards that I didn't really need uh, for kitchen items. So I just kind of left things in there that probably don't belong where they were. So we're going to do some rearranging today. Now, one thing that does belong in my kitchen is my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> and I always get comments on that uh, whenever I show that my makeup is in the kitchen and people get very confused and tell me that I shouldn't have my makeup in the kitchen. When I wear makeup, I apply it in the kitchen. If you wear makeup and you apply it in the bathroom, then it would make sense that you would keep it in your bathroom. I apply it in the kitchen. I always have. So that's where my makeup is staying. But it's been a long time since I've gone through my makeup and got rid of old things, uh, you know, because makeup does expire. And so I'm just going to go through here and figure out what's too old to even be used anymore. And my plan is I've got these two cupboards that are just being used for a whole bunch of miscellaneous things. I'm going to condense one of them and make the other one used for kitchen things. And my makeup bag, oh my gosh, it is so gross as most makeup bags get. I'm going to throw this in the washing machine and see if I can't clean it up a little bit. And we have a Clark sighting coming your way. Okay, goodbye. He doesn't want to look at the camera. He wants to look at what you're doing. The people love you fart. Are you there's my little Clark. He's getting so darn big. Uh, so, all right, I went through my makeup. I always tell you guys when I'm decluttering, uh, this gets done in stages. I get overwhelmed easily. I cannot typically pull everything out. Uh, I know a lot of people do declutter that way. They pull everything out of the cabinet to see what they have. I just can't do it that way because it gets overwhelming. So I'll usually go like drawer by drawer, shelf by shelf. So I did the top shelf. Now I'm moving on to the second shelf. And I do 10 minutes here, 20 minutes there. Whenever I have a little bit of time that I can commit to completing the project I want to commit to. And I'll, I'll be real with you. This project, when I decided I was going to do that for this week's video, uh, I didn't feel like it was a big project, but boy, did it take me a long time. Not because it was hard. I don't know. I just was struggling. I asked Donna Jean to move the phone back. <laughs> so that's why you saw it slide across the room like that. And I really cannot even tell you why this one was such a struggle for me. 
I've done much bigger decluttering jobs. My decluttering playlist is linked down in the description box. If you would like to check it out, I have gone room by room in my house. They're bold. What, Clark? Marky, the people love you. That cherry pie thing looks like a plate. It's not. It's to bake pie. Oh. <laughs> it has the cherry pie recipe. It has the cherry pie recipe right oh, on it. That's actually it. cool. Yeah. Girls, yes. do we need this game any longer? I don't think we do. Oh my God, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seriously? I want to play right now. Then put it in your room afterwards. It takes up too much space. Nobody ever plays it. I forgot about this. Wait, yeah. how do you play it? I don't know. We certainly don't need Pop the Pig either. <gasps> Mom, you cannot get rid of that. I'd rather get rid of this than that. Tracy's. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. That was my favorite game. Oh my <laughs> heavens. There Pop the no, Pig. There is no way we're getting rid of that. Give me it. Fine. We're getting rid of this toilet then. Fine. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, Viviana, look! And you have the main great walk-in closet, great bathroom. You made this for your dad. In 2013, says Viviana. That's like 50 years ago. Yes, 50 years ago, something like that. I swear, Donna Jean wants to hold on to everything. <laughs> We do not have salt. Oh my gosh, Tom. Well, he just got in the cabinet. Yes. <laughs> Tom, why'd you do it, Dad? Crazy boy. Well, there you go. You got Clark sighting and a Tom sighting. So you probably could see me. I was just like sitting there staring at all of these pie dishes like feeling paralyzed. Again, I have no emotional attachment to these dishes. I don't know why I was struggling with this particular declutter so much, but I was. It can be very hard. Uh, I'm just showing you how dirty the cabinet is and I'm going to clean it real quick. Uh, it can be very hard to declutter and very overwhelming to declutter when they are sentimental items. Uh, I feel like a lot of people struggle with that, but I just wanted to share like this very real life moment with you. Like I said, I don't have emotional attachment to any of those pie dishes. I honestly don't know where any of them came from. I don't know why I was struggling with it so much. I don't know if I was not in the mood to declutter. I don't know if, you know, I've been decluttering for a year and I'm just like done decluttering. You know, when you're just doing something for so long and you're like, I'm tired of this. I don't know. I just, I just wanted to share that with you because I just want you to know if you go through that where you're just staring at a pile of something and you're like, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, I'm there right now. We have lived in this house for over 11 years and this is the first time I have noticed this. Look at this. <laughs> Whoever installed these shelves, installed them incorrectly. Oh my gosh. It's like the unfinished side of that second shelf. They put it like backwards or something. And I always get comments about how my shelves are adjustable. Yes, my shelves are adjustable. But if you don't have this type of shelving in your house, then you have no idea how incredibly hard it is to get those shelves out. I am not messing with trying to get them out to turn it around. I moved over to the family room real quick. We have our games um, in my built-in bookshelves. 
and uh, there was a couple of things in that kitchen cupboard that belong in the game drawer. And I thought, let me just real quick see if there's any games that I can declutter while I'm in here. And uh, I found two. <laughs> I just found two. The rest of them we use. Um, we had two Monopolies, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one. We do have two Battleships as well. However, Battleship is my favorite game, and one is electronic, and one is not electronic, so I'm keeping both of them. And this is just another thing that I do when I'm decluttering. When I find things in certain areas that belong in other areas, I go and I take them right away. I don't wait until I'm totally finished decluttering it and then put everything in its place because then I have just a bigger mess in the area that I'm working in and that makes me feel overwhelmed as well. So that's what I did. I moved over there, got the games put in that other, um, where they go, and now I'm kind of working into the second cabinet. So if you are newer to the channel, then you wouldn't know, but I actually have another channel that is a couponing channel where I teach people how to coupon and save tons of money. And uh, because of that, I work from home. Uh, I do a lot of work in my kitchen. So basically what I do is I keep some supplies in my kitchen that I need for YouTube, for couponing, for things like that. And one of them is lots of paper <laughs> because I handwrite all of my couponing deals out. And uh, so basically what I'm doing is I cleared this cupboard out here and I'm taking any of the things from the other cupboard that I use kind of as office supplies or for couponing or things like that. And I'm condensing it all into this cupboard here. I'm putting my makeup back because again, that's where my makeup goes and I'm gonna keep it there. And then I moved things from the other cupboard into this one that I use basically for work. I would love to hear any projects you are currently working on in your house. You know, we're in a new year now and I know a lot of people set new goals and things that they wanna get achieved. Are you on a decluttering journey? Are you doing some decluttering in your house? Are you trying to set up a cleaning routine? Are you doing any like room makeovers or any fun projects in your house? I always, always love to hear what you guys are working on. So feel free to share it down in the comment section if you would like to. I'm still kind of in awe of how long these two cupboards took me to do. I didn't even finish them in one day. And they're not even, they weren't even that bad. It. I just really, I think I just absolutely did not feel like doing it. And sometimes I'll get comments like, how do you find the motivation? I don't. I had no motivation to do this. I just know that I'm not going to have motivation to do it. So I have to push through anyways. One thing that does help me personally, as far as getting things done is this, this is a job. And if I don't film me doing something then I'm not working and that's not a good thing either. So having a YouTube channel definitely has helped me hold myself more accountable. If I wasn't filming a video, if I wasn't like, oh crap, Tuesday's coming, what am I gonna post on Tuesday? Uh, I might not have done it, I'm just being real with you because I did not feel like it. Oh my gosh. I was actually gonna stop after I got the first cupboard done. Uh, but when I was going through some of those notebooks, I found one of my gratitude journals um, where I write down things that I'm grateful for. And I don't know, I wrote a message to myself years ago that was a pretty powerful message that I happened to find as I was flipping through the pages. Uh, and I really wasn't taking a lot of time to look at every single page. So I just feel like, you know, I was meant to see that. That did help push me through to get almost the rest of this cupboard done. And I found a few things in that cupboard that um, are things that I wanted to save for my girls. So now I'm in the basement because like I told you, uh, when I find something, I have to kind of just get up and go put it where it goes so I'm not creating too big of a mess in the area that I'm working in. 
And so I have a bucket in my basement, um, basically a memory box for Grayson, my oldest, uh, which I really need to give her hers because she's 25 and lives on her own. I'm not adding anything more to hers. Uh, I have one for Viviana, who is 14, and one for Donna Jean, who is 12. They're just things I save for them through school and things like that. They may want them someday, and they may throw them out someday, but that decision is going to be for them to make. So I'm just putting the things I found that I wanted to keep for the memory buckets that I have not taken downstairs. And then so far, this is what I have, a little pile going that is going to donation of things that we don't want, we don't need, and hopefully they will serve someone else. And uh, I washed my makeup bag and it looks so much better. The bottom of it still has a couple of stains, but it looks so much better. I didn't want to put my makeup back. It was so dang dirty. So it's much cleaner now. I just washed it with laundry detergent and put a little bit of OxyClean um, powder in there. And it, it did a pretty good job. So I'm going to put my makeup bag where my makeup goes. And then I thought I would share with you real quick what I'm making for dinner. Um, I think I have shared this before, uh, but I can't remember. I was craving it, and I don't even have any idea where I found this. It may have been Mandy in the making, or it may have been maybe Jessica O'Donohue, I think. Uh, those are basically the two that I watch when I'm looking for ideas of things to make. So I had to run to the grocery store because I didn't have some of the ingredients, but in the crock pot, I have three chicken breasts and then I dumped a can of corn in there. And then you saw me dump a can of black beans. I'm rinsing that. This is a can of Rotel. I'll pop a picture of the ingredients needed um, on the screen because again, I can't link a video because I don't even remember where I got it. I just saved the recipe in my phone adding some ranch seasoning mix to this. Uh, it's really very simple. I think I cook it for about four hours. Um, Qdoba used to have, um, I think I'm adding chili powder and some cumin again. You can screenshot the picture that I posted up there for the exact measurements. But Qdoba used to have a Mexican gumbo. I haven't been to Qdoba in like, a year because they got rid of the Mexican gumbo <laughs> and it was my favorite and it's so funny because my girls call this Mexican gumbo they they think it tastes similar to Qdoba's Mexican gumbo so I had thrown the chicken breast in here and the can of corn and then I ran to the grocery store and my girls saw chicken and corn in the crock pot and they were like oh what are we having for dinner and I'm like, I'm making that stuff I've made before. I, I can't even remember what it's called. Um, and they're like, the Mexican gumbo one? <laughs> they just call it Mexican gumbo. And I almost forgot to add in the black beans. Uh, so I just give it a stir and then top it with a block of cream cheese. And like I said, it cooks. I cook it on high for about three to four hours and I just serve it with tortilla chips and it is delicious. I already went through and shredded my three chicken breasts and I did that, I don't know, about 20 minutes before I did this and I'm giving it a final stir and we all love it and I actually ate it for lunch uh, the next two days as well. And I think the recipe does call for two chicken breasts, but I do three chicken breasts. Uh, so we are on a new day now, <laughs> and I just had a teeny little bit left in this cupboard, uh, the bottom shelf that I had not gone through. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that now. And I'm going to get this cupboard all cleaned up, and this is the one I'm going to use uh, for more kitchen-type items. I have uh, a cabinet underneath my microwave that has some pots and pans. It's got my, uh, I can't think of what it's called now, my Instant Pot. My Instant Pot, it's got some bowls and things like that. It's kind of jam-packed in there, so I'm going to move some of the things 
from that cupboard into this cupboard. The other cupboard that I'm moving things from is not, um, it's not so jam-packed that I, that it's not functional, but I've got the extra space here. So I'm just going to make the cupboards less cluttered looking and be able to reach things way easier. All right, I'm going to move on to this drawer because um, I want to repurpose this drawer. Right now, this drawer's purpose is uh, basically where we keep any tools um, that we might need or that we use regularly. We do have a toolbox out in the garage, um, but we've just been using this one for um, things that you want need to grab easily. And it's also just kind of gotten piled with extra things in here that are actually not tools. And I'm, I'm going to use it for something totally different. And tools are not my strong suit because I don't even have any idea what half of the things in this drawer do. <laughs> uh, so as I was editing, there was a few things that I was like, does that really need to go like, does that really need to stay in the house? Do we use that all that often? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so some of the things in here, I might end up moving back out to the toolbox. So one thing that I did, um, I had put when I did my half bath, we put some trim up on the wall and I bought myself a pair of miter scissors. I don't really need those in the house. Those can go in the toolbox out in the garage because we don't use them weekly. Um, so like I said, it, this is just not my strong suit. I was just trying to make it a little bit more organized and free up that drawer. But after editing this, I'll probably make some additional changes too to things that I move outside. And I've told you before, but the fun of switching things up in the house is it confuses the heck out of everybody else. My girls are so dang funny. You're going to hear a clip of them very shortly. Uh, they get super duper excited about new things, but then they get <laughs> super bummed when I move things around because they feel like they're not <laughs> they're not going to be able to find things <laughs> again. It's so darn funny. So I got two acrylic bins. I am going to move the tools that we use to a different spot. I'll show you in just a second. And then I'm just kind of packaging up some other things that uh, I'm just going to move. Like little screws and things that I just put them in a baggie so they weren't rolling all around in the toolbox. But I got lots of room in this cabinet. So these are where I'm going to move the tools. This will be like for everyday use or every week use. Uh, like if, you know, a level... I've got uh, light bulbs, or not light bulbs, uh, flashlights in here, just things like that that we grab for regularly. And then I told you guys, I bought myself after uh, 27 years, we have had the same knife set. And I bought myself a new knife set because our knives are not good. And it did not work out in the drawer that I had initially wanted it to work out. So that's why I freed up this drawer. And I, right now I have a block of knives on the counter and I'm just trying to get some things off of the counter. So I bought a drawer knife set basically. And I'm just making sure that it fits good in here and then I'm gonna remove all the plastic so that I can wash all of these knives and uh, put these to use. Question for you. My block of knives, I think I have six, you know, of like the bigger knives in there. Uh, what do you do with old knives? I don't, I mean, I don't think they're donatable. They're, they're not really sharp. Uh, maybe they can be sharpened. I don't want to put them in the garbage because they're super sharp. I don't know what to do with the dang old knife set. Let me know what you think I should do with that. That's going to be the knife drawer. Oh, I'm not going to be able to find anything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you're not going to be able to find anything? It's one drawer dedicated to knives. That you was know where the junk drawer is. That's the junk drawer that had screwdrivers that had. Yes, I moved the tools to where. <laughs> <laughs> Are you using screwdrivers very often? Yes, yes. I'm Are you wrong? Yes. 
is. I'll show you where they are, don't you worry, okay? They're not in there. No, they're not. They're not in there. I'll show you where they are, stop. <laughs> Didn't you hear that? They were so excited when they saw the new knives. They're like, ooh, those are so pretty. And then when they realized that the tool drawer was now gone and this was going to be the knife drawer, <laughs> they freaked out. Like they even use that drawer very often. They're 14 and 12. <laughs> They're so darn funny. So anyways, I'm just going to get all these knives. I had a few... Uh, the dishwasher was running, so I had a few um, things from dinner, some silverware to wash. Anyways, I'm going to wash up all the knives and get them set up in the new knife drawer that my girls are very upset about. And I ordered this knife set quite a while ago. I did not remember that it had uh, the stainless steel knives in here and a couple of black knives. The black knives are really sleek looking um, that are in this set. I don't know why they're, why it's two different metals um, or colors, whatever you want to call it. I'm worried a little bit about the black ones. Hopefully they won't like rust or discolor. But I love this thing because it's got the space for uh, your big, large knives. And then it has a space for... Uh, like your small steak knives. Now, I do have some steak knives that uh, my stepdad gave me that were from his restaurant. Those are still good, and we use them often. I'm going to go ahead and keep those, but the rest that are in this block, I don't know what to do with them. All right, and the last drawer I'm going to work on is this drawer. I have actually not ever <laughs> decluttered my silverware drawer. The actual silverware part is fine, but I got that little back part back there that I don't even know what is in there. And it probably has a bunch of stuff that we don't even use anymore. I actually found some like little teeny plates in there from when my girls were little, little, uh, you know, that went to like little kitchen sets or stuff. I don't know why those got shoved in there, but they've been in there for years. So I'm just going to go through that, declutter it, and figure out what I'm keeping in here. And the silverware organizer that is in here is not removable. I don't know if it was glued in. I don't know if it's screwed in. Uh, so anyways, this is just the silverware drawer because there's nothing else really that you can use this drawer because of that insert. I don't know, I probably could get it out if I wanted to, but I'm just not messing with it. Look at this whole pile of stuff that was shoved in that little square compartment in this drawer. Uh, there are quite a few things in here that I'm going to keep, which is, um, I actually bought within the last year or so, um, toddler spoons and forks and things like that that I had for EJ. Um, and now I have Violet, so I want to keep those, but they've been back there for a long time, so they're probably a little dusty. I'm going to go ahead and wash them. And uh, I found a few pieces of silverware that got shoved back there instead of being put in their spot. So we are almost coming to the end and I've got some before and afters to show you. I pushed through, I made it. I got some decluttering done this week. Thank you so, so much for spending this time with me today. I appreciate you so very much. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'm just emptying the dishwasher now. Well, at least the silverware part because I wanted to make sure that everything that I want to keep in here fits in here and I can see everything. So basically now instead of a hodgepodge of things, I found like some Easter egg dye in here. I found some uh, pumpkin carving <laughs> things in here. It's just gonna have plain old silverware, but I'm also keeping the corn on the cob holders in this drawer as well. All right, so I've taken care of everything that I've decluttered except for this last bit. I got to figure out what to do with these knives. I'll wait on your opinions on that. Um, some tools that need to go out into the garage in the toolbox. This is something that my mom got, a garage door opener because ours broke um, that we have to install. And then some 
an art book from Donna Jean. And then I have this bag here of stuff that I'm gonna be donating. It's about three fourths of the way full. And I think I have some things in the basement that I can add to it. So I'm gonna get it full and let's take a look at some before and afters. So this was the silverware drawer. The silverware was not the problem. It was that back, <laughs> that back little square piece. Uh, and this is what it looks like now with all the silverware clean from the dishwasher. That's all looking just fine and dandy. And now the back part is not so jam packed full of stuff. And this used to be the tool drawer. Really no organization in here. Things just kind of got thrown in here. Uh, so it is no longer the tool drawer now. It is now the knife drawer. And I did put the scissors in there because I kept that in my, my knife block as well. So that looks awesome. And this was the cabinet that I had my makeup in and it had pie dishes. It had some random things like some games and some things from my girls uh, from when they were younger. And it was pretty messy. And now it's still got my makeup, a little bit of my office supplies down here and the tool area. It looks so much better. And this was the cupboard next to it, which really kind of just had no purpose other than some paper and paper clips and just a whole bunch of random stuff stuck in here. And now it looks so much better. I have space in here. The whole top shelf almost is empty. I moved some of my Pyrex dishes uh, over there and that's it. Thanks again so much for spending this time with me today. I hope it inspired you to do a little bit of decluttering or organization in your home. And I'm going to see you again next week. Have a great day. Bye.